Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a Velociraptor. Um, blue, the Velociraptor, from Jurassic World, I think. Um, this is a Patreon request from Dylan. Um, he asked for more dinosaurs in general, so um, I'll do my best, Dylan. Um, so, let's go with a Velociraptor. Head detail from the side, right? So we start with the eye. So center point to my page about here. Just come up over to the left hand side a little bit. The eyes here, leave a bit of a gap just for the head, right? So from the top of your page. So we'll start with this sort of big sort of curved line, right? Comes out and down like so. And this is like the tear duct at the front here, this pointy part. And then we'll just bring it around the back like so. Right, and this could maybe be a bit darker in here. Right. So the front of it has a tear duct, as I said, and it's kind of round here. Right, so that's like the eyeball. And then he has one of those cat-like eyes, you know, those sort of dark, sort of long, sort of eyes like this. Like so. So then we got like loads of frown lines and eye lines and things coming around, right? So. So like an eyelid line, let's see. So we'll go like an eyelid line, a big frowny sort of eyelid line here. Comes up and around and down the back, right? And this can like have some eyelid lines coming out here. And it seems to have another one underneath. Like so. And then goes up into here somewhere. And this comes down like so. Right like that. And then he's another one on the bottom. So it like comes around again. that and then so this is like a big frown line at the back as well just like a big gnarly sort of frowning line comes up here this eventually kind of goes this direction a little bit but you know we won't go the whole way So we will draw a light line, right? Not like a thick line, but we'll just go, just to bring us down towards the nose. So like, just like a texture line, that kind of like a broken sort of line that goes down this way. Just draw it real light, right? Just for, so we get the direction towards the nose. And I would say how far down you want to go. I'd say like, you know, his eye here. You want to go down once, twice, three times, right? So three eyes will fit down here once, twice three times, and then his nose, his nostril, sort of starts here, right? So just, you know, so we get sort of proportionality, so we don't want to go too long, too short. So eye width, one, two, three, about, okay? About three times. Doesn't have to be exactly that. And we have like a line coming around his nose. like that and this can have bumps and things on it. His other nostril on the other side, just over here. Like that. And then we're gonna bring this now up to the top of his head, which is like up here. So we got like like his eyebrow sort of area and then the top of his head is like up here, right? couple of bumps on it and then this will go down this way and it'll, it'll be a bumping line it doesn't have to be a straight line and then we have kind of a, a line coming down the center of his head here like a 
ridge for his nose or something just going that way and then like we can see like his eyebrow on the other side of his head here So then this sort of eyebrow section can have some like bumps and wrinkles and things on it. You know, these sorts of scales and stuff coming down like. Like some texture lines and things. You don't have to go too nuts with that. And then, so this will eventually go back for the back of his head as well, right? So, come back this way somewhere, like a bumpy sort of line back here, right? And this maybe comes down like so. Okay, and then, so we'll go down and finish the rest of his head before we do the neck, right? So the front of his mouth, so comes down here, like that. You could see maybe another little bump out here or something. So this comes out like so. This way it's kind of bumpy, right? So it comes all the way back. How far back do we go? We go past his eye. Back to here. Quite narrow here, and we go back this way. So, and then there's all teeth in here, right? But we'll just get his bottom jaw done first. So it comes around here. Kind of like this, and then it comes up around to here. And so this is like a black mouth sort of section, and this has bump sort of coming around here and coming around the top as well. Teeth then, right, lots of teeth, like crazy amounts of teeth. <laughs> so um, just go for it, adding these spiking lines like this and we're spiking back into this direction. So like the, the bottom jaw kind of goes around the back here and it's got like an inside sort of line there. And the bottom teeth will go. This is just like his gum or something, just going this way. And then we have like teeth this way, right? So you can barely see those. And then we'll do the top first. You might see some teeth around the back as well, you know, in between. So if you do a layer like this, you know, you might see one around the other side in between them. We finish just kind of underneath his eye. Just 
just there and then we've got that sort of peachy sort of skin line just there and then bottom teeth so we just do the same thing some at the back just back here maybe some of his tongue should be like in here I'm not sure really but there should be I can't see anything you know if you want you can add some texture lines to his teeth as well but maybe that's a bit overkill drawing more tongue going this way just because we should see it and like his, his it gets real dark in here so I can't really make out much back here so I'll just finish that there and then the teeth that I can see on the other side will just be back here somewhere and then the back side of his mouth goes back that way somewhere and his teeth more or less stop like here so it's all dark in there you can't really see anything it's all really dark black right so then the top of his mouth so we got like this sort of bumping line that comes across follows the top of the mouth goes around the back and then something similar here like so and this has all sort of lines on it like this Right, so just these sorts of scaly doing it just add a curve line to the other side Boom. all right and then of course every now and then you can have sort of scales and bumps and things you know coming around his eye just adding some texture around this and he could have a one of those 
neo lines that the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park have that come around. That's just there. And the jaw will go, kind of have another sort of line coming up around his head here. Maybe go in around that way, just lightly sort of sketched in around there, just to show his head. Right, so the neck then, so we're gonna do like bumping, cause it's real wrinkly sort of neck, right? So we've got lots of bumps on it. It goes off that way. And then the neck at the front, kind of comes out from underneath his jaw here. So another sort of bumpy sort of skin line. It'll kind of go in a little bit and bump out here. And then the front of his neck moves down that way. And then, so we have like all sort of wrinkle lines that come out from his neck here, right? So, say from like the front. So there's like a line, a bumping line that comes up here, right? And then this will go up into his jaw, sort of. Around. So then there might be like another sort of wrinkle line in here. And some coming out from the jaw back here, right? So they go like up around the back of his head. Right, like this. And each one of these corresponds to like basically a bumpy wrinkle section, right? So each one of these has you know, a sort of a line on it. And when you get down to like this area, they start to like go around his whole body, like they start to go around the front, like so. They kind of stop down here. So these come down the front of his neck as well. Adding just some scales up here. Sorry, now I'm getting like distracted by other parts of the drawing. Um, just adding some bumps and wrinkles and texture and skin lines and stuff all here. Anyway, back to this part. like so and he also has in each one kind of like this sort of raised kind of pyramid sort of thing these sort of bumps right so it's like you just do like a, a diamond right and just add a line like down the middle and they gradually sort of get bigger as we go down Don't think they go the whole way down, do they? Well, they kind of stop maybe just below his jaw. And some of them are a bit round. 
like there's a round one just like down here on its own and then there's like another layer of them here so These ones are quite big, so. So, you know, he does have that blue stripe that comes down um, his back, but it's not drawn in with black ink, but I'll draw sort of a random sort of pattern right here. And you'll be coloring the edges of it white, if you are coloring. So I'll do this after. So it like, starts here from the side of his head, right? And it's just like this sort of blobby sort of, line that comes down his head here. all the way down his back and sort of down his neck a little bit sort of here sort of sticking out a little I said that's like all blue and white on the inside. And if you want, like, sometimes thickening up your edge lines of your drawing can help the drawing sort of stand out a little bit. So this would be like if you were inking it, of course, if you're doing it in pencil, you don't have to really do this part. I suppose it could help a pencil drawing as well. It's always tough to know where to stop with these drawings. For me anyway, it's always tough to know where to stop, but I think I'll leave it there. That is how to draw a Velociraptor, Blue the Velociraptor from Jurassic World. Hope was helpful guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one, bye.